All right, good afternoon. Uh, I'm going to try to break the speed record for doing a 12-minute presentation in about six minutes. Um, so I'm going to do this very simply. Uh, Advanced Biohealing, for those of you who don't know, uh, we are a uh, commercially oriented organization that was started in 2006. Um, started around a technology that was developed a number of years ago called Dermograph. Um, we were acquired earlier this year, so some of my slide has changed from what I used to say. Um, now I can tell you that our Q3 uh, reported earnings in 2011 were uh, 50 million, so you can do the math from there. Um, and um, in 2006, we started with about eight employees. Today, we're a little over 500 in our group um, and have built this around a single product, as I said, called Dermograph. Um, one of the things in Regen Med that we did when we started building this organization is that we saw the need to have a fully integrated um, uh, entity. Uh, so when you look at, at what we built at Advanced Biohealing, a lot of it was centered around our own manufacturing, our own sales team, our own reimbursement team, and much of that was driven by the fact that we felt in Regen Med uh, there really wasn't a model to follow and that we were going to create it um, the way we felt it needed to be for this area. Uh, and as I alluded to, in June of last year, um, literally four hours before we were to go public, um, we were acquired by Shire, um, the Irish biopharmaceutical company. And the one other thing that happened last year is we were recognized uh, in the Inc. 500 as the fastest, one of the fastest growing entrepreneurial endeavors uh, for um, the United States. Give you a little background. Dermograph was approved uh, way back in 2001, actually, for uh, treatment of diabetic foot ulcer. In 2005, uh, Smith and Nephew had this asset and shut down production, decided they were going to exit the business. And uh, in 2006, June of 2006, we acquired it. Um, it was an asset sale. Uh, the business had been shut down. Uh, decommissioning the manufacturing was in process. And uh, we stepped in and purchased the asset. Uh, in 2007, we shipped the first Dermograph, or the first ABH manufactured Dermograph. And at the end of 2010, we were up to $147 million in revenue. And then last year, we were acquired by Shire. Give you an idea what Dermograph is. Uh, it is a, a human dermal replacement. It's used for treating diabetic foot ulcer um, based on fibroblast uh, cells, neonatal fibroblast cells. We grow them up onto a vicro mesh. Uh, it is then cryopreserved, uh, a three-dimensional uh, piece of skin that's cryopreserved. And then we ship these out to wound care centers in the United States uh, to treat diabetic foot ulcers. Um, because it's cryopreserved, we have a six-month shelf life on the product. And the way that the trial was conducted, we are actually indicated and uh, reimbursed in pretty much every private and uh, Medicare-based reimbursement system for up to eight weekly applications. So when you look at an opportunity for us to treat a patient at a $1,460 price point, a patient is somewhere between a five dollars to $10,000 opportunity for us. And so when you look at our technology, it is, it is not an inexpensive uh, treatment for these patients. The one thing that, as we became part of Shire, um, and people ask now that we've been acquired uh, and now that we are a cornerstone property in Shire to then begin building a regenerative medicine division within Shire, what does that mean? And a couple things on here because people are kind of curious, what was Shire's rationale for purchasing ABH and what's the future? Why did they spend $750 million to do this? And I think it comes down to some of the things that we've now been inoculated with within Shire, but what's what's important to this organization? And a couple things that I think for Regen Med um, that are really emerging is particularly this idea of how you deal with policymakers and payers. And so one of the competencies that we've really been focused on and that Shire is focusing on is how do you take this Regen Med technology and potentially marry that up against the payers and the policymakers to address some of these huge unmet medical needs that some of my colleagues were, were talking about. And so this is then as we start to, I, I kind of characterize this as we were a startup for a number of years. We've now been acquired by a much larger company. And so I think it's a maturation of the strategy now of how you take a Regen Med business uh, and take it into a global multinational organization and, and make it a real uh, functioning global business. The last thing I'll mention is what we're looking for. So now that we've been acquired by Shire, the, the task that I've primarily been assigned is, now what do you add to this business? What do you take a base business that's doing a couple hundred million dollars a year and say, okay, how are we going to make this uh, you know, a business that's doing a billion dollars a year? 
and what does that look like? And so a lot of what we're now focused on is a couple things that you see on this slide. Diversifying the revenue stream, getting away from a single product to drive our revenue. And then also we are exclusively right now a U.S.-based revenue stream. So how do we diversify that outside the United States? How do we get products indications either with Dermograph or other opportunities outside the United States? And we are very, the other thing that people ask is are you only interested in wound care products? And that's not the case. We are very indication agnostic in looking at opportunities in Regen Med. And so that's where we're pursuing is looking at more what technologies do we think are going to uh, address very large on medical, medical needs and can we make a business out of that? Can we add that to our business? That is it. I don't know if I hit six minutes, but I tried to get to six minutes. So that's the business. And uh, if you want uh, any question, I can take a question or two.